you for remembering the victims of Ashraf and Liberty in your thoughts, in your prayers, and your actions. And for those who hear our voices today in Camp Liberty, we will never forget you. We will never tire. We will never give up. We will bring honor to every man, woman, and child, whoever bled, who was ever injured, whoever stood, in the defense of freedom in Iraq for a new and better day for Iran. You honor us. <laughs> Change comes from speaking truth to power. And the truth is, Maliki has sold out the sovereignty of his own nation in an unholy alliance with the Mullahs in Tehran. He's compromised his country and their sacrifice and sold out their freedom to the despotic regime in Tehran. And it is a tragedy. And Barack Obama should say it to his face. <laughs> And one more thing, and here's the truth. I don't care what he says. I don't care how he lies. I don't care about his pretenses. The facts are unmistakable. Prime Minister Maliki has blood on his hands. The blood of 52 martyrs in Azrov. And the blood of the martyrs of liberty. He killed them. He conspired to their deaths. We will not forget it. We will not forgive it, and Barack Obama needs to say it to his face today. Now, now I know. I know what the Prime Minister will say. We've heard his lies. We don't know who killed them. We have no idea. They just arrived in the night. Mr. President, 1,200 Iraqi soldiers under the direct command of the Prime Minister were outside that camp. They controlled the gates. They controlled the entrances. They had the weapons. They were there. They saw. They knew. By God, they did it! I remember an American government where honor mattered. Commitment was important. And the word of the United States was as good as gold. I still believe in that America. And I don't know, Mr. President, how we'll restore it. But I know this. There are seven missing hostages. There are still 3,000 refugees. There are still those to be held accountable for the 52 deaths. I don't know how you'll do it. I don't know how it'll happen. But the word of the United States needs to be protected. Justice must be done. These people must be protected. These hostages must be returned. And Maliki needs to hear about it today. Today. Not tomorrow. Today. Why are we here? And why is this our concern? And why must our president look to you in the eye and speak truth? Because the word and the honor of the United States government is at issue? Because America sacrificed and Americans died to liberate your country and another dictatorship was not the cause of our sacrifice? Because the weapons of the American people are being used against the innocent. Mr. Maliki, this is our business. This is our concern. We are your problem. And we are not going away. We want a free Iraq. We want a sovereign Iraq. We want the mullahs. We want you to be part of removing the mullahs, not supporting them. Today, President Obama, our hopes, our prayers rest on you. Stand with us, not with him. Remember who you are. Remember the things that made you great. Speak truth to Maliki. <laughs> <laughs>